Hello everyone, and thank you for attending Monkey University. This class is Mouth Animations 201. It is an intermediate class that will demonstrate how to put mouth movements on moving minifigures in brick films. You will need an editing program that can do chroma keying in order to do this process. We use Final Cut Pro, but programs such as Vegas and Adobe Premiere will also work using similar steps. You will also need photo editing software. We are using Photoshop for this class, but layering isn't required, so programs even as basic as Windows Paint will probably work. For today's class, we will put mouth movement on this video clip. We will be using this audio clip that Big Monkey recorded. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? The first thing you will need to do is get a picture of the type of mouth that you want to animate. Zoom into the picture as close as possible. Every type of mouth movement has to be created this way. For this example, we will use the basic minifigure smile. It's a good mouth to use because there are probably more basic smile faces than anything else. Now open a new picture with the resolution 1280 by 720. Other resolutions will work, but it seems the logical resolution to use since that is what we edit with. Select All on the close-up of the minifigure's head. Then use the Move tool and drag that picture to the new picture that you just made. Size the mouth to take up a large portion of the picture. We could have made the mouth larger, but how often will you have a close-up like this for mouth movement? Even though you don't need a photo editing program that has layering, having one that will do layering will help in the next few steps. First, create a new layer and trace the mouth of the minifigure. It helps to copy the color of the mouth from the picture instead of using just a black mouth. More complicated minifigure mouths will take extra effort and care. Make the hardness of the brush 100%. Next, create a new layer and put it under the mouth trace layer that you just made. Use Fill Tool to make the entire layer green, or whatever color you like to use for chroma keying. Save this image as a PNG file with the number 1 as the last thing in the name. Now trace the mouth a little larger and save with the number 2 as the last thing in the name. Repeat this step until you get to 5. You will end up with 5 PNG files with a mouth over green, getting a little larger in each picture. Now these pictures need to be sequenced into a video file. You can probably do this with your stop motion program, but for this class we will be using Final Cut Pro. We insert each of the five pictures into the Final Cut timeline starting from five and ending with one. We make each picture two frames.
After we make the sequence of five pictures, copy and paste all of them together a few times. Then copy the last picture, the one marked one, and copy it a few times so you have some video of the mouth not moving, just in case you need it. Take a look at what you have made so far. It should look like a black mouth moving over green. Export this as a MOV file or whatever your video editing program prefers. Now it's time to put the mouths on the video clip. Import the video clip, the mouth movement clip, and the audio clip to the video editor's timeline. Sync the audio clip to the video clip so the minifigure talks when you want it to. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how? <laughs> hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Now it's time to put the mouth movement on the minifigure. Copy a portion of the mouth over green video to a layer that is above the video clip of the minifigure. Hey, how's it going? Try to put the video clip just over the portions that have audio. Use the chroma key effect on the mouth movement over the green mouth movement clip. Use the Select Color tool and click on the green in the mouth movement clip. Adjust the softening and edge thin settings along with the other chroma key adjustments to get all of the green out of the video clip. Now, size the video clip when it is at its smallest size to overlay the minifigure's mouth. You will need to zoom in a little for this precision work. Hey. 
Once you have the mouse movement placed in as close as possible, you will need to keyframe the mouse location over the minifigure's mouth for every frame in which the minifigure moves. This process can take a while, but it is necessary for keeping the moving mouth centered over the existing mouth. One of the drawbacks to this technique, you cannot do the O oh mouth movement. You know, when the mouth is wide open, the width of the mouth is always as wide as the original smile. Trying to draw in a yellow face for doing an O oh mouth movement would not match and blend in as well. If your minifigure's head is not 90 degrees straight on with the camera, you can use the basic 3D feature to adjust the mouth to fit over the minifigure mouth just right. You can also crop portions of the mouth using the crop feature under the motion tab. How's it going? Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's Once you have everything lined up just right, render the video and take a look at what you have done. If something is not just right, 
continue to adjust the mouth overlays until you get the desired look and sound. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? If everything looks all right, then go ahead and export the selection of video with the audio. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? That's how we do our mouth movement these days. Hope this helps. Thank you all for watching and good luck. Bye for now. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going?